guys, it's Kelly. Um, I'm here today to do a makeup tutorial for you. Um, I wanted to do a really pretty spring look. Um, I haven't picked up this particular palette in a while, and I thought it would be perfect for spring. And so I thought I would do a um, look today with the um, Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. Um, it's got some really, really pretty colors in here. You can see. Um, I'm gonna be using some of these on my whole lid and then I'm going to be using this to darken up the outer eye along with this um, probably even add in a little bit of the pink I'm not sure yet um, when I did my peanut butter and jelly palette and I'm gonna go ahead I just got my hair cut <laughs> I got four inches cut off of it that's a lot and can you see my skunk stripe <laughs> my hair is turning gray all in one spot um, but yeah let's put this hair back a little bit and off of my face there that way I can do what I need to do without my hair getting all in the way but um I really love this and when I was doing my um, peanut butter jelly palette um, tutorial I, um, let's see here it is I used this um, purple liner from Palladio Palladio I don't know how to say it anyway um, I used this and I wasn't very impressed with it it was expensive inexpensive very very inexpensive but um i feel like that the quality was also inexpensive <laughs> and so um i found this one um it is by nyx and it is um purple blaze it says slide on glide on stay on and definitely or turn on waterproof so i am going to put the nyx purple i'm going to use it this time and see if i like it a little better because right now the trend really does seem to be that pop of color on the lower lash line and so that's what I want to do today I want to just do something really fresh and fun and that sort of thing so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my Smashbox photo finish primer water and I'm just gonna kind of spray my face just to give it a little bit of moisture <laughs> because it's dry and then I'm also going to, um, let me put this right here. Then I'm also going to um, go ahead and use some of my sugar lip balm, fresh sugar lip balm, um, so that my lips will be nice and moist while I'm working. I love this stuff so much. Okay, I think I say that in every video. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do now, I use the Smashbox primer water, but now what I want to do is I want to go in with my Too Faced Primed and Poreless, and I'm going to put this in my more troublesome areas, the areas where um, it doesn't seem to, uh, my makeup doesn't seem to hold up as much, and that's of course, you know, mostly around my nose and my chin. I have a small mark here that I need to conceal when the time comes. But I'm just putting a tiny little bit of this, you know, just kind of rubbing it between my fingers and kind of working it. I'm kind of, I'm mashing as I, it's, it's more like I'm pressing it in. Okay, um, what I want to do, I think, before I do my makeup, I think I want to get started on my eyes. Um, I went ahead and brought my Z palette that has my Makeup Geek shadows in it, but I'm not sure if I really need it or not. Um, I'm gonna, while I'm um, deciding, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be using my eyeshadow primer from Milani. It's really, really good. Um, it's drugstore and it's an excellent product and I really like it a lot. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that right on my eyelid, all the way up to my brow bone. And maybe that'll help because um, it's 85 and bright and sunny today here in Alabama. And um, you need some makeup that's going to last. Um, let's get this eye. All right. So, um, yeah, guys, I think the last time I gave you guys a health update was when I had been to the emergency room. Um I'm still in the process of trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. Um, I've been having some tests run and that sort of thing. Um, I've been following up with my doctor and that sort of thing. But, yeah, I'm still not really um, over the issue. I really don't know what's going on. Um, I do know that my, my liver is enlarged. And I do know that I'm having a hard time with um, 
eating. I can't eat just anything, and sometimes anything sort of bothers me. So, um, I'm looking for a brush. Okay, this is my Sigma E40, and I think I'm going to go into um, the, it's called uh, Rock Candy, this one right here. It's kind of, it's real close to my own skin tone. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my whole lid so that I have a nice way to blend the other shadows. But I just want to kind of set that primer that I just used all over the lid. But yeah, um, still not feeling well. Um, I actually tried to film just an actual nothing but a health update yesterday, and I just wasn't happy with the outcome of the video, so I decided to um, just kind of mention it while I was going through my makeup tutorial. Now this makeup tutorial, I will edit as much as I can, but it's just gonna be a long chit chat get ready with me um, because um, it just takes me a while to do what I need to do. <laughs> I'm older, I guess, I don't know what the thing is, but it just seems like the older I get, it really does take me longer. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now I am going to go into this color called Strawberry Ice. It's kind of a pale pink, and I'm going to go into that, and I'm going to put that in my crease. So let's just, um, you know, right above my actual crease is where I go. I'm sure you can you can see. I just keep my eye open, and as long as I'm above that line that I can see, I know that I'm I'm putting it where I want it to be. But I just thought this would be a fun um, palette to do, and um, like I said, that video did not turn out so good. It just I don't know. I just felt like it was poor quality, and I did upload two videos last week that I wasn't totally um, happy with because of the way that I looked and everything. I was struggling last week, so, um, you know, it is what it is, but I try to, I, I really want everything that I upload to be good quality for you guys, and so um, sometimes that means I take a little longer or whatever, but um, I, I want to apologize for how bad I looked very poorly <laughs> in a couple of the videos that I did last week where I had no makeup on, just had my hair pulled up from where I had let it dry, air dry. And so um, I just uh, I just don't want to, um, I, I didn't realize how bad it looked until um, I started editing and it was late at night. I was really ready to go to sleep. My stomach was hurting. And so I went ahead and uploaded them and I got to thinking, you know, I just really am not happy with those. But, you know, it is what it is. I went ahead and uploaded them just because I didn't want you to go without videos. But this will be a long video. So if you're not into a long chit chatty, get ready with me, then this might not be the video for you. But um, I don't know. I just thought we could talk while I was getting ready. So um, I really, um, I like these colors, but I do think that I want to stick with um, this here, these are, um, this one's called Sugared Violet, and this one is called Blackberry. And I think that what I want to do is put this in my outer V and, and into my crease a bit, put this on my lower lash line with that liner, and pull the bubble gum in on the inner eye. So let's just go ahead and get started there, I guess. Okay, so I've already gotten the pale pink through my my eyes and it went in really nice and smooth of course you know when are you ever gonna find a Too Faced shadow that's bad you're just not I mean they're really good so I'm just gonna kind of go into um, my outer V with Blackberry kind of be careful at first because they're always very pigmented and now I didn't put any uh, tape on today I mostly I, I forgot but you know what it's okay because I want it to have that really um, blown out look and I'm not gonna get that if um, you know I I put the tape there it's gonna leave a really sharp line and I'm I really don't think I want a really sharp line with this today um, I think I just want to you know go for the blown out smokier look and I think that the pop of color on the lower lash line along with the pink on the upper lid I think that's going to really brighten things up 
this is just a really, really pretty color, um, the Blackberry. It, as you, you can see, I mean, these colors are just really pretty. Um, I like them a lot. So I'm going to go in to that outer V and start coming along. I, um, I really like a dark outer V and um, to smoke it out. I hope that you guys enjoyed my prom tutorial. Um, it, I realize it was long, but um, the techniques that I was using there with the um, the glittery shadows and um, that sort of thing, I thought that it turned out really good. I was really happy with it. Um, and uh, no, I'm not very good with a winged liner. I know that. Um, I never wore a winged liner really until just recently pretty much. And so the thing about winged liners, if you don't already know, um, they can be very tricky and they can turn on you really fast and ruin the whole thing. But, um, you know, so many people wear the winged liner now. Okay, so what I think we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in with an even more precise brush. And we are going to go with, um, this is an E18. This is a, a really small brush. Um, we're going to go with that. And I'm going to go into bubble gum. And I'm going to kind of blend that in right in the center and up. It's got just a little bit of sparkle to it. It's a pretty pigmented color. So I'm just going to put this right here in the center. And I'm just going to work this towards the inner eye a little bit more so it'll show up so this is going to be sort of like a pink and purple fresh faced spring look i've never done this look with this palette before i really want to get some of the new color pop color um the pencil liners Oh gosh, some of the colors, they just steal my heart. They're so pretty and they're inexpensive too. And, you know, they have wonderful reviews. I love all of my ColourPop, you know, products that I've bought. Okay, um, I do have um, my Urban Decay, which is wonderful. Um, I have been really enjoying, I'm just going to kind of color correct that little spot right there. Um, I have been loving it for... The redness on my face it has been unbelievable how much it changes and it's good because you know when you have things that you want to hide when you find something that really works for you you kind of stick to it so um all right so i have that that i'm going to put on underneath my um i'm gonna put that on underneath my foundation i guys i don't know about you i've got a damp beauty blender and i'm just gonna kind of bounce it on the the butt end of it <laughs> i'm gonna bounce that on there and kind of smear that out and smooth that out a little bit this Too faced born this way foundation you know i guys i tried that in a video with you and gave you my first impressions and I've been using it ever since. I love it. I mean, I just love, love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to use my Anastasia brow pencil. And, of course, it's always in a uh, soft brown, my brow is. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my sparse brows. Um, I have brows. It's just that they're very, very sparse. And um, I haven't brushed them yet, so they, you know, they do look pretty bad. But I'm just going to kind of start at the front and I'm just going to make some light little strokes at the front and then I'm going to take it underneath the bottom edge you know you want it to look natural you, you want it to look like brush strokes so you have to kind of take your time now I'm going to I'm on my way back up on the top Guys, I've um, been watching this new, um, a couple of new channels recently that I really enjoy watching. Um, 
One is, um, it's this family, and I'll link it down, I'll link their channel down below. They are growing. They're in the process of having a little bit of a growth spurt, which is wonderful. They are the sweetest family to watch. Um, they're young, and she recently had her tonsils taken out. And um, so they have four children, and um, one's very young. And then they, you know, the, the dynamic in their family is just so precious. And I love watching them. It's, um, it's been fun seeing, you know, a family that, that's getting it right. I hope that makes sense. But, yeah. Okay, I just did a little bit. I didn't go overboard, as you can see. Um, I just wanted to define them just a little bit because, um, you know, um, you want your brows to show up. Um, you don't want them to look like they, you know, run away. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this brush right here that I use for... Um, my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the underside. Cause I don't want it to be too much. I am gonna come back in and do an eyebrow, I mean a brow sh shadow on my brow. But I just wanted to put just a little bit of that. I wanna put it there so that, um. I can use this short brush. This is a Morphe E32 and it's just a, a real flat and short. It's like a shader brush, but it's really, really short and it's good and stout. So I'm gonna um, just kind of work that in underneath the brow. I was going to put down a, a crayon, uh, an eye crayon, a base underneath this. And I thought, you know what? No, I wanna just work with just shadows today. Um, like I mentioned, I, you know, since I've been sick and not feeling well, I've not been really getting up and moving around a lot. And um, I wanted to be able to do, you know, a look for you guys that would um, be easy for you guys to recreate with whatever. I mean, you don't have to have the palette that I have to recreate the look as long as you've got similar colors. I have uh, done that. Now let's go in with Born This Way in um, Nude. That's what the color that I use. Now, I've just put a very light application of, of that. And then I'm just going to kind of go down my chin just a little bit. My ears are not quite as important because I did not do a very heavy. I'm just kind of going for a light spring look. Now, I'm going to go in with my, um, my Urban Decay Naked Skin. I use a uh, warm light. <clears throat> this is the Urban Decay Naked Concealers have sl they're slowly becoming my favorite. I'm not going to color correct in this area today. I've noticed I don't know if my NYX corrector, my orange corrector, that salmon color, I don't know if it is beginning to dry out or or what's really going on there. But guys, I'm gonna tell you, that stuff has gotten hard to get out. All right, let's go ahead and do this under eye. Now, 
you can see that I get that see I get really dark in this area and then in this little crater that I have in the center of my face Oh gosh, that that concealer just does a fabulous job. Okay, I have put my concealer down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my big um, Morphe E2, just my big fluffy brush, and go into my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powders, and I'm just gonna set everything. I'm gonna set my whole face, even where I did my concealer. Oh, these brushes smell good. I use Cinema, Cinema Secrets too clean my brushes and it makes them smell so yummy but I'm setting my whole face I put a lot of concealer around my face and it's hot outside and I need to go do some things today I'm gonna use my bronze booster by physicians formula to kind of bronze up my face a little bit and I'm going to, um, I'm not really gonna contour as much as I'm just gonna bronze up around the perimeter of my face and kind of do the, the three. Okay, I am going to um, put that down. Now I am going to go in with um, this Milani Luminoso. Let me see if I can get it open for you guys. This is the Milani Luminoso blush. I'm sure you have seen it before. It's just got a sheen to it. It's not glitter, but it's a beautiful sheen. And it's kind of a, a coral peachy color, which I think is going to be really good for this bright look that I'm going for today. How many of you um, watch the um, Carpool Karaoke with uh, James Cobert or something like that? He had J-Lo on there. I love her. Oh my gosh, I love watching Carpool Karaoke. Um, just, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, oh, it is great. The Justin Bieber ones are really good too. But the, um, the J-Lo, oh, I love her. I want to be her. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, just put that in the um, search bar on YouTube and watch it. It's so fun. That is a really fun show. So I've been watching that and the other show that I mentioned. I'll link all these down below in case you want to, uh, in case you want to, you know, check them out yourself. Um, today I'm going to be using for my highlight, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Warm Nude. It's in this little little box here, but it's this. I like to just kind of swirl it all around and use it that way. So let me get my um, my E8, which is like a little mushroom top to me. I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around, knock off the extra, and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go in hard. <laughs> I am feeling like glowing today, and it's a spring look. I wanna look, I wanna look very glowy and very, um, summery and healthy. <laughs> um, there's another one that I've been watching lately too that's new to me, another channel. And I can't remember where out of hand what it is. Um, but I'm sure I'll remember by the time this is posted, but I'll put, um, I'll put some of my favorites in the down bar and the information bar and I'm glowing up here guys. I'm going with my finger. Uh, 
uh, I just love the, I'm really hot right now. In fact, I'm gonna turn my fan around so that it'll cool me off just a little bit. Um, I had it where it wasn't blowing on me because I was afraid it would mess up what I was doing. <laughs> now it's time to finish up uh, my eyes, I think. I'm going to go in with um, this NYX purple on the bottom. I'm excited. I hope it's as pretty as it looks. I mean, it's just, it looks so pretty. I just love it. Okay, so let's see what I can do with this. And I've got several things I'm going to do new too. So let's uh, I'm gonna get right on the. Actually, I hate to pull my lid down any, but I'm wanting to really get in that waterline and then go right on top of the lashes. I have to close my eyes and let my, I have to let my, my um, contacts <laughs> readjust. See if I can do it on this. Nope, I'm gonna have to pull it down just a little bit. I do not like to pull down my eyes, especially because of my, my under eye bags and my mature skin. I don't wanna damage it any more than it already is damaged, but you know, Sometimes it's just easier. Okay, that is such a fun color. And it was so much easier to apply than that other. I think I'm just gonna throw that other one away. I think I only paid a couple dollars for it. But it's just not worth it. I, I mean, it's really just not worth it. Um, okay, I'm going to go back into the Sugar Pop palette and I'm going to go into this Sugared Violet with my little pencil brush, which is an E36. It does a wonderful job. I'm gonna go into that color. And then I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line with that. So who do you guys follow on Snapchat? I very rarely Snapchat. I'm trying, I was trying to get better and one day I snapped a lot of things and you know, I've kind of let it fall again. I've got to get better with my social media for sure. Um, of course I follow Desi Perkins and Lester Lux. I love Desi and Katie. They crack me up. I mean, they just, they, I laugh. They make, they make me laugh so hard. And, you know, it's funny because there's times when you just need somebody around to make you laugh. And um, I know that every night when I go to bed, I usually kind of take time and um, let me go in with my brows while I'm talking. My Give Me the Brow by Benefit. Um, I usually try to wind down in my, in, before I go to sleep. I'm on my phone and I kind of... Um, I guess you would say I, I wind down and I'll watch Snapchat, you know, stories. And I, they're my favorites. Um, I watch those two. And if I'm not feeling well, they have no idea how much better they make me feel. Um, when you don't feel good or you're kind of down in the dumps, a good laugh makes all the difference. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's really fun to watch them. They're such good friends, you know, and they do everything together. And not to mention the fact that, you know, I like to follow them on uh, their channels too because um, they're so talented. Oh, gosh, I wish I could be as talented. Daisy is amazing, which, but Katie and Daisy both are amazing. But, I mean, I'm just, it's just like, for me, it's just like, wow. You know, um, I, I'm just like shocked when I see um, the looks that they do because they're so gorgeous. So not only are they talented, but they are hilarious too. Okay, now I don't know if you can see what I've done so far. I love that purple bottom. Oh, and I smoked it pretty low too. I, I really, I did that on purpose. 
Okay, now is where I'm gonna go into my Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek. The one that was the bone color, this one right here that's satiny that I told you that I was gonna use. Um, I'm going to use, let's see, what do I wanna use? Um, yeah, I'll use this one. I, I tend to use the same brushes over and over because they're just my favorites. Sort of like, you know, when you, you find something that works for you, you just use it, you know, over and over. But I'm gonna go into Shimma Shimma and I'm going to go on um, to my brow bone just a little bit with those, with that. And um, it's gonna give it just a little bit of a sparkle in the sun. And if you're out in the sunshine, you'll be able to see it really well. Do a little bit on this side. Now, I'm not going to do lashes today. I'm just gonna do um, mascara. If you want to wear a winged liner and you want to do, um, you know, lashes, go for it. I have fun with your makeup. Okay, I'm using the same Shimma Shimma and I'm going into the, the inner corner. And I'm making it a pretty big inner corner brightening because I'm dark in that area. Okay, um, so... That's my shadows for this tutorial. Now what I need to do is um, before I go in with my mascaras and um, my, before I start curling and doing all that kind of stuff, I am going to use this. It's the Lorac Tantalizer. Uh, love this stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's a bronzer, but it's got lots and lots of shimmer in it. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go over the top of everything with that. And then I'm gonna take my big brush and blend everything out. Just for final, just for the final blending. And it doesn't take much of this. It's really pigmented, but it gives you that soft tan glow that look, it just makes you look healthy. And, um, you can come down your nose, any place that the sun would naturally hit your face. You can put that glow there. Look at my, do you see? Mmm, it's so smooth. And you can see that I don't have any texture issues. It just makes you glow all over. I mean, look at that right there. My nose. And then the highlight on your eye. Just a wonderful product, not very expensive. Lorac just came out recently also with um, a new um, bronzer palette. Hmm. I'm trying to beat myself off of it. I don't, I don't need it. I know I don't need it, <laughs> but I want it. Okay, let's get these eyebrows curled. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just like thinking to myself, oh, cause there, in the palette, there's four colors. Two are matte and two have a shimmery satin look about them. Okay, I'm gonna do something with um, my mascara that I really don't, I don't suggest you do. <laughs> but it's something that I like to do because I have very um, short lashes. So it's really hard to get my lashes um, curled and standing up and at attention <laughs> and um, looking like I want them to. Once you get your mascara on, it really brings this look together and everything. But I'm going to do something here in just a minute that is a big no-no. Um, you're not supposed to curl your lashes after you've put your mascara on because it can literally yank out all of your lashes. Um, but I'm gonna put one coat on there, and I have a fan blowing on me, it's blowing right in my face. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lashes and get those complete. Then I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna use my curler, and I'm gonna use it while it's got the mascara on it, and then I'm gonna put my second coat on. So you just have to make sure that they're totally and completely dry before you do this, okay? Now, I'm serious. You will lose every lash you have if you don't wait till it's dry. So with it blowing, this wind blowing in my face, it's gonna be dry pretty quick. 
So I'm just putting this on the bottom right here. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash, and you can see it's got a teeny tiny, it's got a very small tip on the end of it. I'm trying to keep my hair out of the... Okay, now I'm gonna put that away, and I'm gonna get a Q-tip and a little cotton swab, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up where I made a mess. I've got a little, a couple little places here that, I mean, it's drying really fast. So, all right. Now, I'm gonna go in on top of mascara. You cannot do this if your eyes are, if they're wet at all. So, just check them. If you get no transfer, then they're dry. And like I said, I've got my fan sitting right here. You can see my hair blowing in my face. So I'm gonna do this, and it's gonna give you a very dramatic curl, which I love. And I'm doing that because I don't want to go with the falsies route today. I don't. I want to be comfortable, and I don't want them to start coming apart at the corners and have to re-glue and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna do this, and you'll be able to see, you know, you'll be able to see the difference, I promise. All right, let's go in. I like to curl. I really like to curl, kind of bounce as I'm coming out towards the end. Can you see the difference the way those lashes are now standing up? These are more straight out, and these are standing straight up. Do you see that? That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> the thing is, is that people don't recommend it because if you have lashes that are still wet, it is going to rip every one of them out. Okay, so second coat now on those lashes. And I think you'll see a huge difference in the volume and the curl. And it will stay forever. I'm not using um, waterproof mascara today or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything where I have to worry about that. But, um, oh, I know what the other um, channel was. It's the Ciccone Jolies. Um, they're Irish, but they live in London now. Um, they have such a sweet family, and um, I have started watching, um, they have several channels. That's who I've been watching. They are, um, it's more of a vlog, and um, they are in Orlando right now. The kids are getting ready. Um, they're gonna be going to Disney. Um, they've rented this unbelievable villa to stay in while they're there, and um, such a sweet family. And the little girl, Amelia, I. I love to hear her speak. She's so cute. Um, I mean, she's just a doll. And, um, yeah, I, I just, I'm loving that channel, too. Um, I like the family-oriented channels and that sort of thing. I like funny channels, too. But, you know, I really like that one. Okay, guys, tell me what do you think. I like this. I think it's really pretty um, for the spring. I love these colors. The, I mean, any of the the Too Faced palettes are going to be pretty. I mean, they're all going to be pretty. You're gonna you're gonna find that you like them all. Um, and I've had this one since like last year, I guess, or something like that. What I'm gonna do, since I feel like this is kind of a bold look, it, it's so pretty. I love it. Uh, but since it's kind of a bold look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, um, this is my Milani lipstick in the color 39 Sugar Glaze. And it is a, um, it is a shimmer, I believe. But do you see, isn't it beautiful? Oh gosh, I'm hoping that it's going to pick up the pink on my, on my lid. So let me go ahead and apply that. And I'm not even going to bother with liner today. I'm just going to do it. I didn't line them. I didn't want any harsh lines. Guys, look at this. 
Isn't it amazing what you can create? You don't have to be a makeup artist to have pretty makeup. Not at all. I don't think you do. I think this is a look that anybody could wear. And I mean, heck, if you have a dress that is white or, you know, um, something like that that you wanted to do, to, that you're wearing to prom, maybe you could wear a look like this that's very, I mean, it's compl completely into the other spectrum from the prom makeup look that I did. But, um, you know, it's it's very vibrant. It's it's springy. It's it's just pretty. Just a pretty look. So yeah. And there we go. I love the look. I love the way it turned out. And I definitely would suggest that you check into the um, the NYX. Um, the Palladio was is junk, trash right now. Boom. Okay. But the other, the NYX uh, slide on glide on stay on waterproof. This stuff is bomb. I mean, look at that lower line color. Look at how pretty it is. I love it. Well, this is the look. I just wanted to um, do a little something for you guys today and um, upload it. I hope that you enjoy. I am going to try and cut out any unnecessary parts to shorten it because I can see that it's getting long. I don't know if you guys like long videos or not. Um, I have been trying to cut down my planning videos because they're usually over an hour long and I cut them as much as possible because I know that you guys may not want to invest that much time. But um, I hope, yeah, that you like this look. I hope that if you're new, um, you would hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. And guys, um, give me a thumbs up, you know, like this video if you enjoyed sitting down and talking with me and having a little chatty video. And don't forget, I always link everything in the bottom bar. Um, and yeah, I'll link those other channels that I've been enjoying that you might want to check out. And there's a couple of my former students that I have linked down below. And it just says my favorite YouTubers that you might want to check out. Go check them out. Um, I think they've uploaded a couple of videos each, but, you know, they're just getting started, but they're beautiful young girls. And, um, yeah, I would love for you to check them out. And um, so give me that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and go visit those channels. I think you'll really enjoy them. All right. I guess that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.